In this illustration, we'll discuss another case of a ball sliding inside a cylindrical groove. Here we are given that a ball of mass m is released from top of a cylindrical groove made in a bigger block placed on a smooth surface of mass 2 m as we can see here. And during motion, we are required to find the maximum angle with vertical to which ball can rise on the other half of groove with respect to this block. Here we can see when the ball starts falling due to normal reaction, the bigger block will have a tendency to move toward left, but due to the wall, it won't start. So till it reaches the bottommost point, this bigger block will not start, but as soon as it starts on the right half of the group, due to normal reaction, the bigger block will start moving toward right. So here first we can calculate the velocity of ball at the bottom of groove is this velocity we can simply write as root 2 gr as it has fallen by distance r. Now when it starts sliding on the other half of groove, the bigger block will also start moving. And here we can see this picture gives us an idea about the maximum height which it is raising on the other half of groove. When it starts rising, the bigger block starts moving. And say with respect to the bigger block, this ball come to rest at an angle theta. Then in this situation, at this point, both of these blocks would be moving toward right with the speed v1. So we can write by conservation of momentum. Here we can write the initial momentum of ball when it was at the bottom was m multiplied by root 2 gr must be equals to when the system is moving toward right with common velocity v1. Here we can write 3m multiplied by v1 which gives us the value of v1 with which the system is moving, it is 1 by 3 times root 2 gr. Here we are required to find the maximum angle theta where it comes to rest with respect to bigger block. So we can write by work energy theorem as the initial kinetic energy of system was 0 and the overall work done is by the gravity when the ball reaches from initial position this to this. So here we can write work done by gravity in total as mg multiplied by r cos theta is equals to final kinetic energy of the system is half 3m multiplied by v1 square. Now we can substitute the value of v1 which gives mg r cos theta is equals to 3 by 2m v1 square here is 2 by 9 gr. Here this mgr gets cancelled out, 2 gets cancelled out and 1, 3 also gets cancelled out. So we are getting the value of cos theta is 1 by 3. This implies the maximum value of theta up to which the ball can go is cos inverse of 1 by 3. That is the result of this problem.